There's nothing like an explosion of blockchain news to leave you thinking, um, what's going on here? That's the feeling I've experienced while reading about Grimes getting millions of dollars for NFTs, or about Nyan Cat being sold as one. And by the time we all thought we sort of knew what the deal was, we're still seeing headlines about people paying house money for clip art of rocks, and my mom still doesn't really understand what an NFT is. Non-fungible token. Non-fungible more or less means that it's unique and can't be replaced with something else. For example, a Bitcoin is fungible trade one for another Bitcoin, and you'll have exactly the same thing. At a very high level, most NFTs are part of the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum is a cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin or Dogecoin, but its blockchain also supports these NFTs, which store extra information that makes them work differently. NFTs can really be anything digital, such as drawings, music, your brain downloaded and turned into an AI, but a lot of the current excitement is around using the tech to sell digital art. I'm sure some people really hope so like whoever paid almost $390,000 for a 50-second video by Grimes, or the person who paid $6.6 .6 million for a video by Beeple. Actually, one of Beeple's pieces was auctioned at Christie. What's the point of NFTs? That really depends on whether you're an artist or a buyer. I'm an artist. First off, I'm proud of you. Way to go. You might be interested in NFTs, because it gives you a way to sell work that there otherwise might not be much of a market for. I'm a buyer. One of the obvious benefits of buying art is it lets you financially support artists you like, and that's true with NFTs. I'm a collector. NFTs can work like any other speculative asset, where you buy it and hope that the value of it goes up one day, so you can sell it for a profit. 